do you think? Oh my gosh, look at my painting! Uh, Miguel, look! Look! Look, look, look! You don't care at all, do you? Oh my goodness. Look, look, look! Look, look, look! If you look at the wall that I'm painting on, it's kind of nasty looking. Like, there's spackle and um, there's this stuff called popcorn. And that's the funky, weird texture that's on wall. I mean, it kind of looks like popcorn. That's why it's called popcorn, duh. But if you live in a house that hasn't been remodeled since, oh god, like the 70s, 80s, and 90s, you probably have popcorn like all over your goddamn wall. I have no idea why why people thought this looked good it doesn't look good it's kind of hell i, I kind of hate it i kind of hate the way it looks i hate the texture of it it makes me feel physically ill when i like put my hand on this wall i don't think that's normal maybe i should go to a doctor um but uh, uh, i just i don't like it i don't like it um so i would recommend that you sand it down or at least wash the goddamn wall <laughs> i didn't even wash the wall um, but yeah, that's the first step. Don't, don't be like me. Don't just, like, paint on the wall. Um, you can also probably see this little cat who is just hanging out. Um, so she's very curious, but, um, at one point she did jump onto my lap while my palette was on my lap and she got paw prints all over the floor, little green paw prints. Um, so I would recommend that you make sure that your pets are in a different location while you're doing this. Um, I did wash it off as soon as I saw that she had paint on her and she, she was fine, but just be mindful of your pets when you do this if you have pets. Obviously, it's just, you know, you want to make sure they're not gonna just die when you're trying to do a stupid DIY project. So, that's, that's another, just, just, just watch your pets. And even if, I mean, I, oh my god, I was like looking directly at her when she leapt onto my palette. So it's kind of like, even when you are intently watch, like intensely watching them, they can still just like cause chaos. So I don't know, just be careful. Um, there are gonna be parts of this video that I'm just gonna jump ahead and not show you how I paint the leaves because there's only so many ways you can paint a leaf, let's be honest. Um, but a few tips that I do have uh, real quick are, Make sure that you use, when you're highlighting or shading, try not to use black and white because, um, or just straight black and white because that's really not how nature works or, like, it's very rare to see pure black or pure white anywhere in nature. <clears throat> the only times you're really going to see, like, a pure white is maybe the clouds or, um, maybe the whites of your eyes and even then not really, um, and the only time I can think of off the top of my head when you'd see, like, a pure black value is like your pupil because that's literally like what your eye is doing it's consuming light so uh there are very 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 few places that you're gonna see pure blacks and pure whites um and I know this sounds like kindergarten level art stuff but um basically just use tints and shades so that's when you mix a little bit of black or a little bit of white into your base color so I have this dark green and I achieved this dark green by mixing in a little bit of dark blue and a little bit of black so it creates a, a slightly darker color you know um, and if you want something to look more natural mix in complementary colors so like if I want my um, greens to look a little more beigey or a little more muted I'll mix in some red because that's a complementary color and they neutralize each other out What do you think? Oh my gosh, look at my painting! Uh, Miguel, look! Look! Look, look, look! Miguel, what do you think? You don't care at all, do you? Oh my goodness. Look, look, look! 
Look, look, look. Turn your ferns. Ferns? Yes? No? Seriously. You're not helpful. Oh my god. Oh, buddy. It's okay. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I need to go get paint. Uh, <laughs> because I ran out of... Um, I'm just going to take this off. I ran out of... Um, red paint and um yeah I left it I left the bottle open right on this little table that's like super it's right next to me so I can grab what I need and have it ready to go as I'm working because it's just like you're in the zone you're in the mood you don't want to have to like reach into a basket of paints and figure out which one you need it's like they're all lined up and it's beautiful uh except I left the red one open for some reason I don't know why I'm stupid I have a smooth brain um and so one of the cats knocked it over and now there's a big red stain on the floor so that's cool need I remind you that there's like um paint there's a goofy there's Snoopy painted on this wall there's like the red bear and the red some all of these cartoons from like the 70s and 60s that my grandpa painted in the attic a long time ago I'm here because of COVID so I just need a place to stay to do classes whilst during the plague right well now it looks like a murder scene and there's like all of the <laughs> goofy is just looming over you as there's blood all over the floor so i don't know this room is just getting more and more and more cursed as the days go by i don't know if the ferns are helping or hurting at this point um so miguel told me that i needed to add more ferns and um she's a really well-known artist like globally world renowned um so I figured I'd take her advice and try to paint another fern. Uh, the one thing, though, is that this this may have been a mistake because, as you can see, this fern that I'm pa currently painting intersects the other fern that was already down there. And then painting below the other leaves was just... It was hell. Essentially, like, the last few minutes of this is just me struggling to try to make these look okay they don't look okay i need to go back in and fix them and like if i look at the corner over here i'm like okay there's not it's spicy here and it's spicy there but everything else is just green and i'm like that's not good that's not nice i'm gonna work on this and i'm gonna pass out is my plan This is where I'm at right now, okay? Just, I'm at the firmly grasp it part of the night. <laughs> I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna lose my mind. I can't make this not look stupid. This should be the point where I quit, but because I, I just can't leave it on this. Do you know? I can't. Ugh, man. Miguel, what do you think? more. Do you like the flowers I did over here? <laughs> no! Do you need a closer inspection? What? Um, I would say I wish there was still more florals and color and stuff in my final painting. And maybe a little bit more stuff going on up here and maybe I should have covered the bell pepper looking thing a little better. But overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Like, you know what? This is a lot better than how it started. Uh, but you know, with painting, how it, it's always like, you always feel like, oh, I could have done better. I could do better, blah, 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 blah. That's, it's like, that's always how it's gonna be. Hope you like it. I'm gonna go and sleep for 700 years now. Bye. I should probably paint the rest of this room. Oh my god, my hand is in the way.
because uh, the wall is still kind of crusty over here. Um, and there's like stuff written in weird spots, but you know, maybe for a different time. Uh, don't look at my YouTube recommendations either. Excuse me, sir, privacy. Yeah, I hope I hope someone enjoyed this. Uh, I will make more videos like this soon. So, yeah.